Hello, everybody. It is July the 3rd. We're off tomorrow for the 4th of July. Big celebration. I hope everybody enjoys the day. But today, it's a beautiful day here. A few clouds, but nothing major. And uh, as you can see behind me, you can see what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to go uh, put a boat in the river and uh, paddle around a little bit, maybe even jump in, get cooled off. But uh, yeah, hopefully there might be something I can show you along the way. But uh, until then, I'm out. All right, see you later. everybody i just got my bones <laughs> i just got my boat launched here at the ramp this is at the shiner park you can see there's a the little trail comes down uh, i got some pallets there to help you get launched in but uh the only issue with launching here is you have to carry your boat a good little distance from the parking lot to here so hopefully the county will work on that and maybe get a get it fixed to where you can get your vehicle closer to the launch. Um, we'll address that when we get through. So, all right, I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna actually head upstream, see how far I can get. All right, if I see anything interesting, I'll show it to you. I'm out. Okay, so here's the situation. I've got up here, the current is flowing pretty well, but, uh, a lot of little rock formations here in the river. I'm not sure how far I am up now, but I've left the last of the other boats behind. I found me a little calm spot right here. Uh, all kind of little birds look like uh, swallows. And I think I may have seen, uh, it almost looked like osprey, but I don't know. Couldn't get a real good view of them because I was looking straight into the sun and obviously couldn't get a picture, but I'd say I'm a good mile upstream from the put in now, but uh, I'm gonna try to stay in this calm water and work my way around and get uh, past this little uh, uh, semi-rapid area. Um, like I said, I was here in the summer tanager a minute ago and just all of a sudden lost it. So. I'm gonna head on upstream. All right, I'm out. All right, so I've reached a spot on my journey up river now that I could get out and drag my boat across these little rapids and get on up into another flat place and keep going, but it is three o'clock right now, and I'm gonna really just take my time floating back down. So uh, at this point, I think rather than, hold on. Okay, that was a little weird. Uh, this current's trying to turn me around. I see these birds up here again. Yeah, they are osprey flying around. Uh, just landed in a tree up here. That's pretty cool. I wish I could get a picture of it for you, but uh, I think they're just too far away. But. Uh, My boat's getting turned around, and uh, this uh, current's going to take me back down. Let me get over here where I can stop. All right, as luck would have it, I got pushed down by the current, and by the time I got turned around, the uh, ospreys had fallen away, but I think they're coming back around. Let's see if I can get them in the sights. I don't know if you can see that or not. But they just seem to be patrolling the river. One of them's gone that way. I can't actually locate the other one, but 
this is what I was dealing with. You can see the current kind of picks up pretty stiff right here. And um, yeah, I could actually get out and walk over and just drop it on the other side and probably be okay. There goes that other osprey, but by the time we get the camera turned around, you won't be able to see it. But So anyway, I got over here just on this little sandbar that was uh, sticking up and was able to get stopped. Um, this is a nice little paddle. Uh, hearing all kind of birds in the woods to both sides of me. I think I mentioned earlier that I heard a red-tailed hawk, but I think maybe a nest because it didn't move ever. It may have been young calling out for some food. I'm not sure, but hard to tell when you can't see them, but uh, I heard a summer tanager again, and just as I got my phone turned on to get the the sound, it, uh, it quit. These birds flying away where you can't see them, so uh, I guess all you got to do is look at my ugly face, but it's like I always say, if you really want to enjoy nature, the best way to do it is actually just get, ha get out here and uh, get in it. And, um, you know, I've about changed my mind. It's only 3, 3.05. I could probably paddle upstream, you know, another hour and still get back by 5 to the car. So, uh, yeah, why don't we do that? So, let me show you what I got to do. I'm going to get out here on this little sandbar, and then I'm going to walk. Um, I'm going to walk up this little bit of a, a little wrapping, probably to where it flattens out again, and then put it back in. So, uh, all right. We'll see how that goes, and uh, I'll try to get back to you and show you some stuff if I can ever catch it on camera. All right, I'm out. Okay, here's the situation. I'm just a little over two miles up the river, and uh, as you can see, there's some rapids here, but I'm right now sitting behind this rock where it's rather calm. It looks like another little calm stretch just above here, but I'm not so sure I'm going to go any further. I may just get out, cool my feet off, maybe even take a complete dip in this water, uh, cool off, and then get ready and head back downstream. Again, this has been a most enjoyable paddle. Um, I've seen a lot of birds. I'm sorry I haven't been able to catch them on, on video for you guys, but uh, that's just the way it works out sometimes. I'm not exactly what point I am on the river here, but I'll be sure to uh, drop a pin and mark this on the map so I'll know how to figure out exactly where I was. So if I want to continue on again later, I'll, I will. But, Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Just a little over two miles up from the Shiner Park put in. Right there at the end of Alexander Drive. Alright, I'm out. Alright, so I don't know what's going on with the camera, but I tried to get a couple of shots. Nice little place just to cool off here. It's not really a good swimming hole because it's full of rocks. But uh, if you ease in, then you can just kind of float around in it. It feels pretty good. So anyway, it's uh, it's getting on close to 4 o'clock. So I'm going to get my boat turned around and uh, get headed back down the, down the stream. Uh, this behind me, there's my boat. And that's what I got to look forward to. So we're going to get it. All right, I'm out. All right, we are getting ready to push off from this little uh, rock outcropping and head back down to the car. It's uh, just a little after four, 
four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we've got a little over two miles to go to get back to the takeout and then load up. So it'll probably be around six o'clock before we get back. But uh, if I can get turned around here, I'll show you what we're looking at. Okay, here's the rock that we're just now leaving. And you can look down the river here and see there's a few clouds in the sky. A few clouds in the sky. <laughs> but we have had a beautiful day to be out here. So it's not much between here and that first set of rapids that I came over. Uh, I'm just going to try to stay in the boat over that one on the way out. Uh, probably won't be able to film it, but I'll try to get some video just as we get to it. There's a couple other things I saw on my way up uh, that I didn't get on video. A couple of vultures, look like vultures, that were eating something on the side of the river. We may investigate that. And um, yeah, we'll just uh, see what pops up. All right. I'm out. All right, guys. I'm uh, down below that uh, set of falls that I had to walk up. It wasn't really falls, just rapids. But anyway, uh, just before I got to that, uh, I was treated to uh, a single bald eagle. Uh, I saw it in a tree well before I got there. But... Uh, as I got closer and closer, it was just sitting there with its wings out. It looked like it was sunny. Probably trying to dry its wings off. But uh, then when I got almost under it, it took off and flew across the river and landed in the sycamore tree on the other side. Just uh, still unbelievable here on July the 3rd, the day before the 4th of July out on the Cape Fear River, just outside of Lillington. And I see a bald eagle. <laughs> Pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. About that bend down there is where I'll be getting out. Um, probably won't do about another 15 minutes, but uh, Again, it's been a good float. I just passed a family that was out of their boats. Um, just cooling off in the water as I went by. So, uh, looks like most everybody is finished paddling for the day and getting out. But, uh, Again, it's been a good day. We'll get on down the river here. Probably not much more to see, but I uh, have seen some pretty cool fish. I'm gonna have to look them up and see what they were. One looked like I had a big pointy nose. It was brown with black dots on it, but I don't know what it was. I'm sure I'll be able to find it when I look in some of the resources, but uh, Really, really cool day out here today. Uh, hot, but cool what I've seen. So, anyway, for now, I'm out. All right, this is the uh, put-in and the takeout at uh, Shiner Park, right off of Alexander Drive, very in. And uh, they've got a couple of pallets here, but there are some improvements that I think they could put in that would make this much more uh, desirable as a put in and take out. Um, maybe a pad. I mean, when you step out of that, out of the boat into that water, it is just solid. I mean, it's mud. You stick in it and your feet sink up kind of hard to get out so anyway these are some things that I'll be sharing with Parks and Recs today Parks and Rec seeing if the county might be able to help out 
And then the other thing is making it available somehow for you to get your vehicle a little closer. It's a good 100 yard tote once you get out. So it's a good place to put in though. You're right above the Cape Fear River Adventures and um, you can get in and avoid all the tubes there and paddle up creek. I want a total of four and a half miles today, so it's a good paddle. Um, I'm sure my shoulders will be reminding me of that tomorrow, so I'm gonna get the boat out, get it loaded back up, and get to the house for uh, for some supper. All right, I'm out. All right, so I just did an overhead carry of my canoe from down at the river, which is about 50 yards. And as you can see, these yellow things back here, Portage Johns, and then beyond that is a parking lot. And you can see I carried my boat about 20, 10, man, 15 yards beyond the table that I'm sitting at. So uh, they really need to figure out a better way to uh, allow people to get down here closer with their kayaks to get them in the water here because this is a really great put in but it is a little difficult getting to the river and back, um, especially if you got a heavy kayak or canoe. So uh, my kayak is not that heavy, but you know, I'm getting old and got bad knees, so <sighs> getting a little tough on me. But first thing I wanna do when I get home today is I'm gonna go on Amazon and find me a set of those wheels that you strap to one end and then just pick up the other end that make life so much easier. Um, they're probably gonna be about 150 bucks, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's getting almost a necessity for me. So anyway, let's get this loaded up and get home. <laughs> 